People have got to come and see what we've got to believe what we've got. Once you've been, you'll come again. Wherever you go, you hear stories, and the stories are about newness, whether it's about new transport links going in, whether it's about new housing going in, new industries going in, changes in the types of businesses that are coming into the, the towns and the villages within the Tees Valley. Look at Hartlepool. Next year it's going to have the tall ships race, a million people coming. Middlesbrough is now becoming a centre for arts. Darlington, in a sense, is the, the heartland of the railways, and all around is agricultural land, a very beautiful countryside. We've got an area that's got a terrific history, but we've got an increasing confidence about the future, and I think that's the biggest change that's happened in the Tees Valley, a growing confidence. I think this area is on and up, and uh, while we are going through difficult times with the recession at the moment, I think this area, perhaps more than any other, uh, has the uh, infrastructure to allow it to survive and grow. I think we've been very successful. What we've done is ensure that visitor numbers to Tees Valley have grown over the last five years. More importantly, we've encouraged them to stay longer, spend more, and thereby create more jobs in the area. This is about five local authorities all working together for a single area and promoting that area and developing that area as a single unit, which is very important. Ongoing investment in the region has seen towns transformed. Darlington, for one, has benefited. It's a town which is celebrating its past while embracing the future. It's extraordinary what's happened in Darlington, both in terms of, I think, the external perception of it. And a lot of work has gone into to sell Darlington and what Darlington has to offer to external audiences, but also the people within the town and there is a buzz about the place, and, and I think Darlington does feel that it has a, a wider role to play within the region now than probably hitherto it did. It's a great place to live, it's a great place to bring your kids up, but it's, I think its heritage is something very special here in Darlington. You know, this is the town that changed the world. You know, Darlington, stopping in Darlington Railway, first passenger railway, um, we have to really treasure our railway heritage, I think, and it's something we're starting to do and it's nice to see. The award-winning Head of Steam Museum remembers the town's role in the birth of railways. Its centrepiece, Stevenson's Locomotion No. 1, the train that made that historic journey. We've had over 26,000 visitors since April last year, which has doubled our visitor numbers. And so that's very significant. And we hope to achieve greater visitor figures in the future. We get lots of tourists here at the Head of Steam Museum from America and Japan, uh, as well as tapping into the local community. We get lots of national and international tourism on the back of that. It's absolutely essential that towns like Darlington and the others within the Tees Valley area are promoted. Uh, we've got lots to offer in the Tees Valley and visits to Tees Valley are a good connection for us. They help us to build links with the local community and to wider audiences. It was 1825 when George Stevenson's locomotion number one made that epic journey. 184 years on, Darlington is once again making railway history. The tornado was built in the town and is Britain's first new steam train for half a century. Every time tornado's in the paper, if you put tornado on the front page, you sell more papers. It's incredible. Uh, if you put it on the website, video and, and things like that, you see uh, a big rise in the number of hits. So there is this, this fascination with uh, local railway heritage. And uh, I think the investment in the Head of Steam Railway Museum in Darlington as well has been something that's been very welcome. It's great to see, but we've got to take it further, I think. It's taken £3 million and lots of volunteers over the years to put the tornado back on the public line and it will stay on the public line, which is was great for Darlington as well. Uh, and great for the northeast of England.
There's growing confidence in the region. At Herworth, near Darlington, £50 million is being spent creating the region's first five-star hotel and Europe's longest golf course. It was, you know, pretty derelict in many ways. It's a place that's uh, been well known for years through uh, locals and people that have grown up here. Um, and uh, we're doing everything we can to restore and keep all the uh, traditional arches and stained glass and really feature the very best parts of a, an old stately home. To have such a supportive tourist board and they're very, uh, very dynamic in their approach. I've worked with a few tourist boards around the country, so I think I speak with some authority on that, and I've enjoyed working with them already. Thank you.